No, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Ah. Ooh, that looks promising. That looks promising. Please tell me it also is promising. Ah. My god. My god. Okay. Nah. Okay, still safe ish. You be repaired. I don't like this at all. Where the hell is it? Oh, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I really don't want to know. Ah, uh, this doesn't feel right though. No, this is not it. This is not what I'm looking for. South. Oh god. No, Warper. No, no, no. If I... If I get warped, it's over. If I get warped, and that thing attacks me, it's over. The what? No, 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 no. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Leave me, leave me. Freaking warper, don't. Ah, uh, this is so uncomfortable, so uncomfortable. No, 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 no. Okay, so, um, we... Let's see, further base, don't need to know about that. You know what? Fine. Fine. You... Oh! Okay, that's a little bit worse than I thought. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, awesome, awesome. Fully charged. Good. See? Dragon! Leviathan! Hi, friend. Oh, I made you angry, didn't I? I owe... So made you angry! Come on. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Into the prawn. Get the hell out of here. Okay, um... Is that why we... I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Come on. Just move. Just move. Go away. Best camera five. The hole. The hole. Uh, hi, friend. Okay, the hole might be my answer. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go. See? This. Entrance. What the hell is this place? It looks so cool. But oh, so terrifying. Uh, this is the depth. This is the depth that we need. This is the freaking depth. We're on the right path. Oh my god, yes. Okay. Oh god. Um. <sighs> yeah, going deeper. Also. Uh, no, no, the. Uh, oh my god. Okay, that is good. That means you don't want to eat me. I will gladly take that. Um, this. Kinda. Looks like hell. True hell. Oh, God. Okay, so. If you are this sea emperor. There you are. Is that the primary demon unit or facility? But is it just a clear path there? Is that all it takes? If so, please let me go there. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Can I? Oh no! Oh, oh! I okay. I take damage from that and I don't like you oh no 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 okay keep soon no 
That's the wrong way. That's the... Okay, I see the entrance. I see the entrance. I think, I think. Come on. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Just run. Like hell. Run like hell. Run like hell. Run like hell. Run like freaking hell. <laughs> Go. Dude. Go away. Right now. Okay. Um. Oh, please tell me you require a blue or orange tablet. Because that's all I have. <gasps> blue. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Welcome aboard indeed. Let's get the hell out of here. And now that we're safe. And we're in here. Let's finally read up on what the hell. Uh, let's see. Freaking Dragon Leviathan. As I say, extremely high threat level. Yes. A colossal Leviathan rip with reptilian features seen stalking the very heart of the volcanic crater which underpins life in this area. The scanned specimen measures 112 meters in length. Heatproof tissue. Uh, tissue analysis reveals the specimen consists of one third inanimate materials focused around the chest area. Consumption and retention of mineral substances may explain the life form's ability to withstand extremes of temperatures. It even appears to be able to consume molten materials and expel them at its adversaries. No test. Didn't like it. The forearms. Evolutionary distinct forearms are used for both propulsion and offensive purposes. Finding suggests evolutionary divergence from other species on the planet tens of millions of years ago. The sea dragon is likely one of the oldest species on the planet. Oh my god. Well, we survived it. That's good. Uh, behavior. As the largest carnivorous species encountered on 4546b, the largest? Okay, uh, almost everything is potential prey, including freaking Reaper Leviathans. With few substantial targets in the volcanic cave systems, the sea dragon likely ventures out into cooler waters to hunt other small leviathans, corn uh, cornering them. No, oh, dude, you are not allowed to swim through here. No. Uh, cornering them and forcing them deeper, where they are ultimately boiled alive. You are a true beast, friend. The sea dragon size and the restrictions of the cave systems they inhabit suggest their population numbers are extremely low, perhaps in the single digits. While it is not unusual for larger predators to sustain lower populations, it is possible the sea dragon's food source have diminished over time. This species Maybe nearing extinction. Avoid in all circumstances. Yes. So, there is three of them at least remaining. I, for them, hope there is a male and a female. Because <laughs> otherwise, yeah, um, you're dead. Anyway, primary containment facility. Uh, I am what you seek. Um. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. I don't think the live specimen termination worked because there is still some... Thing over here. Uh. Oh. All of this stuff is so freaking fancy. Okay, um. Ion cube fabricator. What? Okay, um. Let's see, uh, this device appears to be the origin of the raw mineral that forms the base of the ion cubes, which powers smaller alien systems, likely drawing power itself from the main thermal plant. This device may represent an almost limitless source of energy. So, if I were to drill you, can I do that? 
I can. Okay. Does that give me iron cubes? Perfect. Okay, so everything is gone. You fabricate it. Do you just... Regenerate it like that? Oh my... God, that is epic. That is absolutely epic. Oh my god, it's actually producing it slowly over time. Oh, that is... It is epic. Absolutely amazing. Oh, the... Just... Uh, begs the question, what the hell am I gonna get myself into here in this place? Like, I can see a lot of these exhibit things standing over here, which means I have a feeling... Oh, is that the Doomsday device? I have a feeling I'm going to be reading up on a lot of data entries over here. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to wait till it's finished because really that's just amazing. And if that keeps on producing it. Oh, like how much do I have right now? Open storage, fair few ion cubes. If that keeps on restoring itself. This is a limitless supply of them. If I... I can make ion batteries out of them. Ion power cells. Uh, friend, why are you... Are you anticipating the drilling force? Oh god. Don't tell me you're beginning to anthropomorphize or personify the prawn suit too. It's not anticipating or preparing to drill. I think you are. Shall we get started? Aboard, Captain. Come on. Because <laughs> if I can make ion batteries and power cells with this... Oh, no, wrong button. That's just absolutely awesome. So, please give me a few more of these. Unfortunately, only give three at a time, but hey, it's something. And I like it. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, you keep moving, just a teeny... Teeny tiny bit, um... Yeah, uh, anyway, I think it's time for us to actually, starting off, do something over here. See what the hell we got. Enzyme 42 Project Data. According to translated data logs, an indigenous leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the Chira bacterial infection in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great length to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. So this Leviathan that has been speaking to us, I'm thinking the Sea Emperor. That thing might be able to help us with the bacterium cure. If so, yes. We are what we, or she is, or it is what we seek. Which is awesome. Okay, now I don't know what the hell I'm getting myself into here. Um... Oh, there's going to be so much information. Um, let's... Uh, first off, I want to know. Before I do any scanning. That place is locked. What do I need to unlock it? Blue. I need another blue tablet. Okay, that's kind of what I was afraid of. Um, yeah. What is the... Best way to do with this. 
if we can restore those warp gates, maybe, that the data log spoke about, if we can find a way out of this, to the surface, we might be able to loop around quickly and maybe get the Kyanite from the base and do something. Uh, friend, no, come on, come on, stay down, please. I'm trying to get more ion cubes. Uh, but that is problematic, because all the Kyanite that I... Oh, God. All the Kyanite that I got is entirely in the second base. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if this is going to be a brilliant idea, but I am going to need more Kyanite. I need two Kyanite if I'm right. Where are the blueprints for... Uh, let's see, let's see, where is it? Two Kyanite and Ion Cube. If I want to unlock that, I need more Kyanite, which means... Okay, uh, I still got space here. Yeah, working on it. Um, there's Kyanite. Where is the Sea Dragon? I can't see it anywhere. So, um, let's start with that fluid intake. Vital signs. Perfect. Okay, we're going out. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Nowhere to be seen. Okay, good, 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 good. That means you give me two kyanite. That's hopefully all I'll need. Come on, come on. Please, please. Okay, that's two kyanite. I'll take a little bit more just in case. Hopefully four in total. No, that's nothing. Come on, come on. We don't have a lot of time. Okay, that's good. That's good. Perfect, perfect. And... Oh, come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. No. Yes. Okay. Storage full. Storage full. Perfect. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Only a slightly bit terrifying. Also, ooh, that explains. I move so slowly when walking backwards. That is. Really, that sound is terrifying. Okay, so, uh, the prawn is full. Perfect. Let's see what we can do in regards to scanning stuff over here and actually figuring out what the hell we're dealing with. We got the Kyanite, so if we go back through a portal somewhere, if there's something over here, we have the Ion Cube so we can make a blue tablet to open the door. That's all I want to know. Alien object. Like most of the stuff here. The alien building block. This rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts, and there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state, and is awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as this may, be, may have been a fundamental building block of the aliens' technology, or even of the aliens themselves. Interesting? Confusing, but interesting. Uh, crescent artifacts. Right. You, you would remind me something of a weapon, but it's a tracking implant. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to 4546b. Its size suggesting the subject was a Leviathan class organism. You think? Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may also have recorded biological data on the subject. However, this data cannot be retrieved. Okay, good. Uh, not, sh not sure why it's inside of a case like this though. Uh, unusual box. Organic matter particulator. There's so much stuff here. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope, likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. What? Although it would function 
perfectly well as a weapon, it was most likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. Without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. Yeah, don't press any of the buttons if you can find them. Just don't. Uh, empty case, interesting. Nanobots. So it's not empty after all. Scan shows some form of advanced nanobot inside this seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially sm smaller than any developed within the Federation, and it is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. Who knows, maybe it's a killer swarm of nanobots. The prawn suit remains weird when it randomly stands up and everything. It's... I don't know. Okay, more alien technology. Because we don't have enough of it. What are you? Doomsday device? Translation device. Okay, that's a little, little bit more pleasant. This device stores linguistic data from over 1000 different languages. The core of the device may allow alien text to be read and translated. That sounds useful. Analysis on the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages and the term CHBC Life appears many times in the device's data. Its import is unclear. I have no clue what that is referring to. The device seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work the other way around. So basically it's useless because we don't know the language of this thing, of these aliens and... Nah. It's interesting but not useful. And you guys are awesome. Okay, let's see, what else have we got? Also, uh, food and water. I have some water, I still have some food. Uh, I might be running out of that soon. Rudimentary tablets. Are we gonna get more? Rudimentary tablet, let's see. This device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities, although its structure is rather less complex. It may have served a similar purpose, granting security access and storing relevant data, and was thus kept here as a form of legacy support. Uh, there's no way for us to break this kind of stuff, no thought so. Okay, circular objects. Really through the eyes of a human who has no clue what the hell we're dealing with. Holographic projector. This device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It was likely used as a communication relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user to a remote location. There do not appear to be any other devices in range. That's cool. That's the kind of stuff in sci-fi movies which is always awesome. Just high technology projecting a hologram of someone and a video call but in real life. Um, alien statue. There is so much interesting stuff here. I love this. Um, this artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. The pyramid resembles a vine spiraling upwards towards the warm blue stone mounted above it. It may represent a plant found on the alien's homeworld, a building of religious import, or even the gravitational pull of their home solar system. One big freaking question this race of aliens is just i want to know more about them so much more especially now that i see this what the hell is a yin yang symbol doing here it, it is an alien carving um okay this carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. It bears striking resemblance to the old Earth yin yang symbol. Two competing theories may explain this similarity. Aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century before Christ and influenced the development of ancient Chinese philosophy. So basically aliens visited Earth. Or, the concept of yin-yang is universal, since yin and yang describe the fundamental independency of seemingly opposite forces, it may be a necessary 
existential understanding in some form in all sufficiently developed civilizations. Maybe. Always good and evil. Hmm, makes sense, I guess. The tapering of two circles, union, into opposed and infinite smally small points, the finite, is one logical way to represent this understanding and may have been developed independently by species other than humans. It's either that or aliens visited Earth. <laughs> one of the two. Um, ancient blade. Oh, you know what? I think they most definitely visited Earth. Ancient Earth blade, dating back to the 13th century. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. This evidence supports the theory that aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in the serapitous study of less developed species. Well, thank you. But that is awesome. That is really awesome. Okay, um... You, friend, can I... No. Um... Hello? Welcome aboard, Captain. All hill bugs. Can you please... Thank you, because I need this. Um, I want my water, I want my food. Thank you very much. Okay, um... There's so many pathways to go, so many hallways. Oh god. I hope I have enough food and water for this. Okay, let's see, what have we got? Empty cases all around. Preserved fetus. Is that a... That is not a sea dragon. Sea emperor fetus. Oh god, yeah. Of course. In trying to search for a cure, they also toyed around with the eggs, just like what they did with the sea dragon. Uh, but in this case, they broke one out of the egg, maybe? Found preserved in a display case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Uh, that thing has been talking to us, so it is completely sentient. That is horrible. Stunted tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in this specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. So now it serves as... Which, this makes me wonder, did these aliens know about this sea emperor that's been talking to us that it was sentient because if so that makes this even more horrible if they didn't know about it it makes it all the more tragic uh. but on the other hand cara bacterium killing many thousands billions of people uh, does the end justify the means in that case uh. preserved egg casing from this Emperor Leviathan, Sea Emperor. Uh, shell composition. The shell casing is formed from a thick layers of carbon composite, suggesting an extensive gestation period. I honestly have no idea what those words even mean. This Leviathan species may give birth just once per century. Perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Oh, that makes it even worse. Shell casing incisions. Precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and force, forcibly remove the fetus inside prior to full gestation. Time pressure to develop a bacterium vaccine may have driven the alien research to cut open this egg and remove the fetus for study. It is understandable, but it's still horrible. It is also possible that removed from its parent and natural habitat, some vital conditions for the infant to hatch naturally were not met. So basically they just completely messed up and... Uh, innocent child loss, that is just horrible. Is a, what's with all these other empty cases though? 
Not sure. Um, anyway, food and water is really beginning to run low. Um, not happy about that. I have a little bit more water. I can survive for a little bit longer. Um, I need to find a way out of this place. Hopefully through something like a warp gate. Um, do we have anything like that over here? Something maybe. Yes, okay, awesome. Uh, but that does beg the question, where the hell is that going to lead? The story of the Sea Emperor is a tragic one, especially when you think about how long this being has been captured in this place. But whatever the case, she is currently our only salvation in finding a cure. <laughs>